happy to be here. Beautiful weather. My name is Pashman. I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. I would like to share with you a very personal, also very public testimony with you because I love you. And a couple of years ago, I have given my life to Jesus Christ and really changed my heart. When I was broken in my heart, when the life was very difficult and I was in affliction, Jesus Christ has come to my heart and changed my life completely. I trusted in Him because the Bible says that the only Him that we can trust. Jesus died on the cross and shed His blood so that whoever has sinned commit, committed the sin through His blood should be forgiven. The Bible says that Jesus Christ, His hand, hands will reach to those people who are afflicted. They are in the pit, in darkness, and maybe they don't know anyone. The Bible says that in many times that the Jesus Christ has reached and healed those people who are leper. And who is the leper? In the Old Testament, those people who are outcast, lonely, outside of the city. Maybe the priest meet them once a year through the ritual to heal them. But Jesus Christ, through very much passionate heart, has prayed the mighty hands of God and touched them and healed them. The same way when the lame came to him, Jesus Christ touched them and healed them. Jesus Christ is the life and the hope for the whole nation. When the people they are in the sickness, when the people they lost their hope, or they are in the bondage of the sin and in the darkness, Jesus Christ provides the power through the Holy Spirit to break that bondage which we have in the sin. The Bible says that clearly we are sinning. We have short we have fallen out of the glory of God and the presence of God. That's why Jesus Christ has come to buy us again by His sacrifice, to bring us to the right way by His righteousness. The Bible says that He has released us by His power from the domain of the Satan to the kingdom of the light. When we believe in Him, we shall be saved. But we have to make a decision in our heart to give our life to Jesus Christ because in the modern life that we are living in, they take the Bible out of the uh, schools and the media and the newspaper, they do not talk about the reality of Christ, that the millions of believers, they know that Jesus lives inside of them. Think about it, the millions of the believers, they have an intimacy and relationship with Jesus Christ. If such a thing is happening, why should we reject Jesus Christ when we know that our eternity is stick in His mercy, His grace, His, His power? So Jesus is a day, or Jesus is a free day, or Jesus is a day, and He when the Holy Spirit will come upon you, give you new life, and give you a new perspective, and give you counsel, and give you good, good mighty hands of God you to come to your help. And Jesus so much loved you that He invited you to come to this salvation. Salvation it means freedom in our soul. There is a lot of pain in our mind maybe nowadays when we are living in such a difficult time. In our heart we have difficulties, in our mind we have confusion. But when God came to us, He will teach us through the Bible, through fellowship with each other, how much is important that God give us His love, that we ground it and build upon it and come to His great salvation. Jesus says that I am the water of the life. Whoever drink of Jesus Christ, He will never go thirsty. And there's a lot of people that they are longing after the alcohol and drug and a lot of pornographies that they are thirst of their soul to be quenched. But that's not the way that this Bible says. Jesus Christ says that I will quench your thirst because it says I am the bread of the life. So I love you very much. That's why God has bring that message to you that you make a decision. And maybe this message tonight wants to talk to you. Maybe there is someone that needs to know that the God is a love, God is a hope, God is a light. There is a solution in God for you. That's why I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, according to Psalm 91 and Psalm 23, that He give you a great a comfort, He give you a confirmation into your heart that Jesus died on the cross, shed His blood, that you come and receive Him to come to the kingdom of God. When the kingdom of God comes inside of you, you are a new person and your life will be a change. You will never alone with God. You have never been created to be alone in this modern times. Many they say that we have come from the evolution, but that's not the truth. So that's the time that we have to listen to the gospel. Jesus loves you. 
I love you very much. And please, if you hear this gospel, take it to your heart. Do not harden your heart. Do not be prideful. And do not stay in your tradition and the false religious because Jesus is the only way. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. God bless you.